We've been keeping up with Kim Kardashian for years as she's carved out a space entirely her own within pop culture. But while she grew up in Beverly Hills, she's since proven she has the chops to build a global brand. Here's why Kim K is always causing a stir. Does everyone get a tape of this? Because I hope you do so you can see me when I'm famous and old and remember me of this beautiful little girl. Kim may have been born into a wealthy family, but her parents Chris and Robert Kardashian made it clear that she would have to work for what she wanted. She got her first job at a clothing store when she was just 16 years old, telling Wealth Simple, I had no money, so I had to go get a job. I grew up so normal when there were no cell phones, you know? Like, we had phone hours on our home phone. As far as the clothing store went, Kim revealed that she was even responsible for helping launch the retail location in Calabasas, and she says it was a lot like her family's future store Dash. But it appears that when it came to business, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. The child of a celebrity attorney, Kim actually tooled around in her father's law office for five years at the start of her career. It was there that she learned how to save and manage money. She told Wealth Simple, He'd talk to me about credit and getting a little credit card and trying to build up my credit and showing me how to really balance my checkbook. My dad was very instrumental in teaching me about credit. At a certain age, we're going to be cut off and we can't ask our parents for anything. Still, as she was busy learning finance from her dad, Kim would also find herself sitting front row to one of the most explosive court cases of the century. Kim's life may seem like it's perfectly curated, but back in the 90s, things began to fall apart for Kim and her siblings when their parents called it quits. As noted by The Mirror in 1990, Chris and Robert's marriage crumbled under allegations of cheating. As the story goes, Chris was reportedly sleeping with a soccer star 10 years younger than she was. I think I have one regret, and that was getting divorced. Scandal rocked Kim's world yet again when her family endured the infamous O.J. Simpson trial. O.J. and his wife Nicole Brown Simpson had been good friends of the Kardashian family. Kim even called them Uncle O.J. and Aunt Nicole. When O.J. went to trial for the murder of Nicole, Robert Kardashian became part of his legal defense, and Chris took the side of her murdered best friend. Kim recalled, I definitely took my dad's side. We just always thought my dad was the smartest person in the world, and he really believed in his friend. We didn't really know what to believe or whose side to take as kids, because we didn't want to hurt one of our parents' feelings. In 2003, Robert Kardashian was diagnosed with cancer, and according to E! News, after an eight-week battle, he succumbed to the illness. In the foreword of their book, Kardashian Confidential, Kim and her sisters remarked about their father's lasting impact on their lives, explaining that without him, they wouldn't be as close as they are today. They wrote to him, We know that every blessing in our lives is because you are our angel watching over us. We know your spirit has guided us through every challenge, highlight, and memory we had. We miss you more than we did yesterday and less than we will tomorrow. According to Courtney, Kim, and Chloe, the greatest lesson their father passed on to them was the importance of being a good person no matter what. These days, Kim is the undisputed queen of reality TV, but she started out in the early 2000s alongside one of the world's most dazzling socialites, Paris Hilton. Kim worked for Paris as a stylist, and the two were often seen together with matching bags, matching tracksuits, and other matching outfits. She literally gave me a career. Strategist Shiraz Hassan, who worked with Kim, claimed that Kim and Paris knew how to work the paparazzi to their advantage. He told ABC News, When I built Kim Kardashian's career, there was no social media. The only form of content that you could get was through the paparazzi. I got Kim in the news all the time, every single day. Rick Mendoza, who was hustling as a paparazzo when Kim and Paris were at the height of their gal pal phase, said he photographed Kim, quote, day and night. And the more famous she got, the more money he made. He recalled, It was nothing more than just feeding the frenzy and creating it. I'm so grateful that I had you as, like, a mentor. Kim may have been stepping out on the Hollywood social scene in the 90s, but it was her explicit videotape that truly launched her fame. She made the tape in 2002 with her then-boyfriend, Ray J, and it was leaked in 2007, shortly before Keeping Up with the Kardashians hit the air. I felt like I really had to work ten times harder to get people to see the real me." When Andy Cohen asked whether the show's success was linked to the tape in any way, Kim claimed that the show wouldn't have been as popular without it. She said, "...I think that everything happens for a reason, and every time there's, like, a crazy scandal that feels like you can't breathe and how are you going to get through this, it always is a lesson."
After years spent courting the media, Kim finally made it to TV with her family's reality show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. When the series first premiered in 2007, Kim was the most well-known member of her family, thanks to her connection to stars like Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan. And as time went on, scandals, relationships, and a whole lot of drama turned Keeping Up into must-see TV. There's a lot of baggage that comes with us, but it's like Louis Vuitton baggage. You always want it. The family went from being relatively unknown to social media superstars in just a couple of years. And their lives have since evolved to include luxury cars, amazing homes, lavish vacations, and other jealousy-inducing moments in general. But that isn't to say that the attention has always been positive. Just think back to when Kim was robbed in Paris due to the fact that the cameras and her Instagram gave away clues as to her whereabouts. Still, that aside, most would agree that the show has been an overwhelming success for the star. After Kim made her debut splash on the show, she stepped up the ratings with a wedding event for the ages. In 2011, she and Chris Humphreys tied the knot in a $6 million affair after just six months of dating. To me, our love is simple, and I don't want like all the distractions and everything crazy going around. The ceremony was just as lavish as the price tag, and it appeared that the couple were living a dreamy fairy tale. But as fans quickly found out, the two weren't meant to be. Kim and Chris were only married for 72 days before calling it quits. And the 20-carat ring, the multi-million dollar wedding, and the pomp and circumstance all went down the drain less than three months later. It's like I'm forgetting what all of this is supposed to be about. Things began to look rocky for the couple after they returned from their honeymoon. They attended events separately, and just three weeks after E! aired the wedding, the couple announced their split. Kim said in a statement at the time, "...I had hoped this marriage was forever, but sometimes things don't work out as planned. We remain friends and wish each other the best." When it came to her love life, Kim quickly recovered from any residual heartbreak, and this time she linked up with a bona fide music icon. Kim and Kanye West had crossed paths much earlier in their lives, and as Kim told Us Weekly, "...right before I got married to Chris Humphreys, Kanye and I were talking, and I just went in a different direction. I think I had to go through that to figure out what I wanted." Shortly after her divorce, Kanye invited Kim to Paris for his fashion show, the trip that marked the start of their relationship. She said, "...I swear from the moment I landed, I fell madly in love with him, and I thought, oh my god, why didn't I do this sooner? Like, this is what real life is like, love and fun and real support." By the spring of 2012, Kim and Kanye had gone public with their relationship, and everyone was on board for the adventure. Fans were shocked when rumors started swirling that Kim was expecting her first child with then-boyfriend Kanye. The two had yet to tie the knot, and the whirlwind surrounding Kim's divorce and pregnancy had the press abuzz. But nevertheless, in December 2012, Kim confirmed that she was pregnant, and Kanye reportedly even referred to her as his baby mama during a concert in Atlantic City. I'm not going to tell any of my friends. I'm going to tell your friends, because your friends are the ones that keep yeah. it quiet." The couple welcomed their first child, North, in 2013, but the delivery was nothing short of dramatic. According to People, Kim was determined to make a couple of stops on her way to the hospital, including a pit stop for a McGriddle as well as for a bikini wax. Of course, we've all gotten to know North throughout the years, and the mini-icon makes waves wherever she goes. Kim and Kanye have since welcomed three more kids into their fold, with Saint, Chicago, and Psalm. Keeping up with the Kardashians not only elevated Kim's star power, but it put her in the position to launch her own businesses. With over 250 million followers on Instagram, Kim's social media influence is unparalleled. And one of her most successful launches has been the fashion line Skims in 2018. The line became an instant hit. Whoever said loungewear was only for the house hasn't tried Skims. As far as her concept for the brand, Kim hoped to capitalize on a gap in the industry when it came to shapewear. She explained to Nordstrom, "...I began to experiment on my own by constructing pieces made from other garments, and I would cut a leg or even dye fabric to get the right shade. Skims has really been in the making for over a decade." Kim has launched other successful brands as well, including KKW Beauty and KKW Fragrance. And as of April 2021, according to Forbes, Kim is officially a billionaire. So what does a shapewear billionaire do with all that cash? Well, if you're Kim, you study for a law degree. 
In a surprising twist, Kim turned her attention to justice and announced that she would be pursuing a career within law. A far cry from her days as a socialite, some initially laughed off Kim's announcement. But no one was laughing when Kim successfully advocated for prison reform, resulting in the clemency of Alice Marie Johnson. According to Harper's Bazaar, Kim personally advocated for Johnson, who was serving a life sentence for a nonviolent drug charge. And thanks to Kim's efforts, Johnson was released from prison when she was granted a full pardon by then-President Donald Trump. Alice, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> but Kim is going about her education in a rather unique way. According to The Sun, she isn't officially enrolled in law school, but is instead studying through an apprenticeship program. The state of California does not require a law degree to take the bar exam, and Kim plans to take the bar in 2022 after she failed to pass the famously difficult test on her first try. Kim may have gotten her start in a very Hollywood way, but she's since become a force to be reckoned with. She's a businesswoman, a pop culture icon, a law student, and a devoted mom, and she doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. And after over a decade spent living in front of the cameras, she has even recently advocated for herself and her well-being. I'm like an adult. It is draining. I have a therapist. Let me, let me work on myself. Yeah. While her marriage to Kanye always seemed to have question marks surrounding it, in 2021, Kim finally called it quits. Still, she hasn't walked away from what's best for her kids. According to Entertainment Tonight, Kim and Kanye are both dedicated to co-parenting and even learning from their experience in their marriage. Speaking to her history as a socialite turned social media star, Kim explained that being married to Kanye was like getting a crash course in authenticity. She said, he taught me so much in the best way, of just being me and living in the moment. Kim has proven that not only can she reinvent herself with every new chapter of her life, she's also dedicated to being the best she can be. And that goes for herself, her family, and, of course, her fans. You live your life your way, and hopefully that makes people, inspire people to want to do that for themselves. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.